Or now can we take it to a higher level of real regeneration that eventually the earth wins? So if Stephen talked about regeneration, he would probably tell you about all the fruit trees he would plant and the food forests and in the biological car. You know, you know, Stephen, I mean, he's most passionate about that. And he would tell you about, you know, the carbon capture, you know, and, and all those agricultural things. And if you talk to me about regeneration, you know, I would talk about economic regeneration because that excites me to be able to do these things, you know, with, within the community. And what even excites me more and what has many of us excited is this idea of cultural regeneration. What does that look like and how do we interact that? Not to say that we want to change the culture of the Machuca Valley. Of course we don't. We're not coming in as, you know, as expats to change the culture. But, you know, I, I don't know how long you've been living in Costa Rica, you know, or if you ever lived urban. Eight years ago, when you went to Whole Foods to buy your food, you would never have thought of bringing your own bag to Whole Foods. You know, that wasn't part of, you know, who you were, right? And then, you know, I can tell personally, the first year, yeah, I brought it 50% of the time. And 50% of the time, I didn't bring it, you know. And then the second year, I brought it 100% of the time. But 50% of the time, I forgot and left it in my trunk, you know, because it wasn't, wasn't part of my culture. I would never go to Whole Foods now without my own bag. It's ingrained in me. It's, you know, it's become who I am. During the time of COVID, this is kind of interesting story. During when, when COVID first started, we had 19 employees and we were doing all these events. You know, most of our marketing events came in-house. But it was COVID. I couldn't do that anymore. So I had all this food. So Kara, every Wednesday, would go and she would prepare these 19 boxes and we would deliver it to our Costa Rican workers, right? You know, the only thing we didn't realize was that, you know, Costa Ricans didn't eat kale. It wasn't part of their culture. First week, second week, third week, fourth week, fifth week. By the end of the sixth week, they were calling us and saying, hey, can you help us build these raised beds? We really like this kale. You know, we wanted to include it now. It's a cultural change. So when you think of that and you multiply it a hundred times where your end goal is to culturally regenerate so the earth wins, it's exciting. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's, it's an exciting concept. <laughs>